people have been long suspicious of Andre Ward's commentary. A lot of people mentioned this in the Jack Catterall, Josh Taylor fight. This is one of the things that I say about commentary. Um, the reason for commentary is actually for corruption, believe it or not. See, once you listen to the commentary, their words can get you to see things that don't exist. Some can notice it, some don't. But a lot of people have mentioned this before about Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward. While being such good fighters, why does Andre Ward consistently score fights like he's a casual? Because the truth of the matter is, as good as a fighter as Andre Ward is, when he sit behind that desk, he's a company man. He has a script he has to follow, and it's only so far he can veer off that script. Now, it makes you feel some kind of way when one of your favorite fighters is in a position to give another fighter a just reading and they don't do it due to the fact that boxing is so corrupt and boxing is always judged by people who never put on a pair of gloves in their life and don't know what it's like to get hit or get injured or train or injuries or none of that stuff road work or none of that stuff and they sit behind the desk and they rob these guys of their opportunity and downplay their achievements and basically not really reporting what's going on inside the ring so it's very disappointing when a fighter sits behind that desk and does the same thing that's because simply the fact is when you listen to these commentators you're getting who's ever hosting promoting the fight whether espn or this this that and the third you're getting their script whether you like it or not they have a guy that they want to win they have a guy that they're going to talk highly about and they got a guy that they're going to put down that's just what it is this is why I was thinking about it and I was thinking of a boxing app and somebody should come out with this and I don't mind even putting this idea out here because it'll almost never happen. But I was thinking of a boxing app where you can choose to turn off or on the boxing commentary. I think that is a feature that if you're going to have these mobile apps, I think that is a feature that one of these apps should offer whether I want to hear boxing commentary and whether I don't because we all admit once you turn that commentary off you view a different fight it's one of the things I liked about being in quarantine because when you didn't have the crowd you could really zero in on what was going on you can hear the impact of the punches you know you know what I'm saying you you was almost like you were ringside this is why I kind of like the quarantine environment the no crowd environment i kind of like it because you could just focus solely in on the boxes and you can hear it all and it's very hard for them commentators to pull that shit off on you when you don't got other noise and distraction and people in the background you can really concentrate on what's going on that's one of the things that i like about the whole quarantine situation but we have to understand when these commentators sit behind that desk they have a guy that they're supposed to root for that's the simple truth. It's rare that you'll get some commentators to sit behind there and it's actually going to call it. One guy playing good cop, bad cop, but nonetheless, they have one guy that they want to shine on. And that's boxing commentary. You know? So judging's bad, matchmaking's bad, commentary's bad, scorecard is bad, these boxers mentality is bad. Um, the lack of fighting once a once a year, whatever is bad. It's just all bad all around. And the point is, what I'm trying to say is, when does it stop? When does it get enough? Like, I don't think boxing can get any more corrupt than what it is. Where else can you corrupt behind? The only thing, the next stage to take this is full on, full fledged WWE. That's the next step to take this. You know, these boxers are going to be choreographed their boxing matches like they're actors in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Rehearsing. You know, eventually that's what this shit is going to be. You've already seen fake fights. You've already seen fixed fights. You've already seen people cheat. You've already seen people uh, 
get fucked over on scorecards. You, you, you've you already seen it, you've seen it all. Any way it could have been corrupt. You've seen it all already. So where else do we go from here? The only thing that's left is full fledged WWE. But when it comes to these commentators, don't expect them to tell you the truth. Even people that we trust in and we know that know better. As long as somebody is giving them a check at the end of the day, being compromised is something you should suspect. You know, it should be nothing new. You shouldn't be really listening to the common commentary anyway. You know, um, you should really be trying to. But I understand it takes away when you have to mute the whole damn thing. And you're just looking at two guys go at it. You want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear the punches, you know, j just like, you know, the voices that talk over the fight. But unfortunately, you can't hear that without hearing the commentary. So I don't know at the end of the day, but I do think that feature is a good feature. But Andre Ward, at the end of the day, he's a company man. He's going to do whatever that check tell him to do at the end of the day. And, and that's the truth. And Andre Ward is not the only one. You know, so don't expect good commentary just don't expect much of the sport and you'll never be disappointed but anybody that sits behind that desk that's getting a check in some way shape or form they are compromised and they're not going to keep 100 percent with you you could tell that from the lomachenko uh teofimo lopez fight you know um a lot of lopez punches they wasn't even reporting on you know they didn't even want to mention the level of inactivity of the silly Lomachenko, you know, and the same thing with Timothy Bradley, you know, Timothy Bradley um, questioned Shakur Stevenson and his lack of having an entertaining fight because simply he wasn't going for the gusto. But when Lomachenko took off six rounds against Teofimo Lopez, I never heard Timothy Bradley talk about you got to be entertaining. So you got to understand when it comes to this commentary shit, these guys are bought, you know, and the quicker you accept that, the quicker you can understand what's going on, the less you can pay attention to the bullshit and focus on the real shit. And that's just my thoughts on that. I'm out.